as a university research group, all of us are committed to the core mission of public health, which is to improve the health of populations around the world. There's a large, massive international effort to fund the access to antiretroviral therapy. I think we'd all like to live in a world where everybody did the right thing at the right time for the right reasons. But we live in a world where there are pressures on governments and pressures on private sector firms to do what's in their either national interest or their financial interest. Part of our mission as an applied research group is to take our research and put it in the language that the audience can hear. Look at what we have done with Boston University. We are showing that if you treat your people, they will live longer, they produce better results for you, they will be more productive, and it's less expensive to do that. These tea fields are beautiful, but these tea fields are also brutal. This is very hard work. And in that way, we believe that the labor demand of the tea industry is similar to most agriculture throughout Africa. And therefore, we believe these findings in the tea estates of Western Kenya could contribute to both national knowledge and global knowledge on the impact of HIV and HIV treatment on labor productivity. We'll tell the story in the tea estates of Kenya, but I think the message will be heard much more broadly. From the side of the patients, most of the time when they're starting the ARVs, they go through a rough time. But just to be able to be told that there are people who have gone through what you've gone through and have actually gone back to living life as normal, I think it will help them, give them a motivation through that half rough time. There's a friend of mine who has had HIV for a while and before treatment, he did not think that he'd have to plan for his retirement. And came ARVs and now he's 55 and he's just actually having to plan for his retirement. And what I would hope is that our research begins to construct an evidence base that governments and firms around the world can use to make the case for investing in treatment in keeping their labor forces as healthy as possible, keeping those household incomes going, and in that way, through employment in addition to health, help mitigate the impacts of this global pandemic. <laughs>